They're excited that their students are coming back. They're ready to do the work. Superintendent Irma Trosclair tells me that the 2020 school year and everything that came with it has made it easier to prepare for this year. The first two days of school operate on a hybrid schedule. Trosclair saying this makes the start a little smoother. That helps us make sure kids are getting on the right buses in the afternoon. It helps us practice protocols. After that, kids are in school every day. Although she says that hybrid and remote learning are fine, it's always better to have kids in front of a teacher. There's no replacement for a good classroom teacher that um, is there instructing you, guiding you, monitoring your work. Even before the governor's mask mandate and pushback from parents, LPSS was swaying toward making them mandatory. Any mitigation measure that we can put in place, regardless of how we feel on either side, um, I just think it was the important thing to do to try to keep our kids in front of their teachers um, for as long as possible this school year. And since masks are also required on buses, they'll get some time back in the classroom. We weren't able to do um, the entire instructional day, but this year we're able to add our 60 minutes back that we desperately want back, and our teachers and our school leaders want it back as well. Every year starts with some hiccups when it comes to busing, but there's an easy way for parents to get ready. So if you go to our website, um, there's a link there that you can put in your address and it will tell you. Um, there's also a number there that you can call our transportation department. Better ways of keeping track of students will help in case there's an outbreak. We are requiring seating charts um, be um, kept for our every bus and classrooms. Um, but yes, we're real fortunate in Lafayette Parish to have an LPN or an RN on our school campuses across the district. Um, so they're able to do a lot of that work and they were tremendous last year in really helping us keep schools open by the contact tracing that they did. As for Tross Claire, what does she want for the students this year? I want them to be safe and healthy, of course, um, but I want them to receive a high quality education. And for parents? Although we have folks that have different opinions about different protocols, I respect that, I understand it, but as a system we have to remain focused on what gives our students the best chance of coming out of the pandemic and being on level academically for their future. For Acadiana's News Channel, I'm Dave Baker.